Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a hair video for you guys. I decided that I was getting tired of the blue so I wanted to do another colour of box braids. So in this video I'll be showing you guys how I personally do my box braids. I really hope you enjoy this video. The method that I'm using is the rubber band method. Ever since I tried this method I've been hooked onto it. It's just saved so much time and I found that in my um, experience with the rubber band method it just makes your braids last longer I will link all the details of all the stuff that I use in the description box apologies for the low lighting in the first 30 seconds of the video it gets better promise you to speed things up a little bit, I've already prepped my hair, so I washed it, conditioned it, blow dried it all off camera, and I've already put my hair into sections. I've got two sections at the front and one at the back. To section off my parting, all that I do is I just fill around for where the parting should go. It can be quite difficult gauging where you should do the parting. So what I would say is that if you have somebody that's there with you, just ask them to help you or you can use a mirror. I always use my husband, bless him, he always stays up with me whilst I do my hair. Anyway, next up I use edge control and I find that edge control just helps to keep the hair all in place and then I take a rubber band and I just tie that around the hair quite a few times. You can do this as much or as little as you want, it's up to you. As you can see, I've now finished sectioning all of my hair. Um, basically what happened was, let me tell you, when I do my hair, I like to focus. And so I got carried away with actually starting to braid my hair that I actually forgot to film the beginning of me braiding my hair. So in the next clips, you will see that my hair is pretty much at the stage where it's done. As you can see, pretty much done with the hair. I'll show you what it looks like it's looking good so i've only got a little amount left to do i can't wait to finish i'm looking forward to finishing do you think this color is just so pretty look as you can tell my hair here is really it's not that long so i'll show you guys what i do to make sure that it stays and holds well to make sure that the braid holds to my hair so when i do my front I take a little amount of hair, just a little bit. So something like this. Place your extension on one side of your natural hair. I'm then going to use um, this finger, see here, this finger over here, which is my middle finger. And I'm gonna use that and pull, pull that hair across. I am then going to pull my natural hair to one side and then I'm going to use my other middle finger and grab this hair here like that and then I'm just going to braid it together I don't know why I paused there So I'll just braid it till I get to a length where I feel like it won't unravel. I'm just going to leave my hair like that and I'm joking. So now that I've done that, I'm then going to go and get my normal amount. And I'm basically just going to repeat the exact same process as what I did. So place your hair, grab this braid, pull that hair to one side, then using your other middle finger to pull to one side and then you can start your braid just like that and voila and it just merges so beautifully together voila I've got a braid done and my hair at the back here is thicker over here so I'm not going to have to do what I did to this first, this braid that I just showed you. When my hair is thicker and feel like it's stronger, I will just 
do a normal braid. So get your desired amount of hair, thickness, place the hair, take to one side and pull, bring the other hair and begin to braid. Well, the braiding part of it. God, that took ages. I'm loving how it looks so far. All I have to do now is, I'll show you. Um, sometimes when you braid hair, you get like these little, don't know if you can see. There's like little flyaway hairs here. So I'm just gonna trim those off. Once I've trimmed them off, I will, um, put the hair in hot water so that it locks it in but oh my goodness I'm loving it so far so after cutting the flower hairs I then went on to dipping the ends of the hair in hot water I decided to do this off camera because I don't have a tripod and it would be such a lot of effort to do that while filming at the exact same time I don't think I could have managed um, to speed up the process I then dried the hair with a hair dryer so this is what my hair looks like finally it's all done I loved this I love this look I love the color it looks beautiful. All I've done off camera is add these little beads, which were so they were so cheap for my local beautiful supply shop. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. And I will see you soon. Bye.